Hello Year 9 and welcome to the GCSE Religious Studies uh, Options presentation presented by yours truly Mr Temi and thank you for tuning in to find out a little bit more about GCSE Religious Studies and why it is a worthwhile GCSE for you to study if you want to become a more holistic and well-rounded and empathetic uh, contributing citizen to society. So why is it important to study GCSE Religious Studies? And as you can see on your screen, we have our curriculum statement from Kim Dean, where religious studies uh, involves the exploration of wide ranging topics and their effect on the human race. And we explore the beliefs held by a variety of people and how these beliefs impact on the daily lives of communities and whether those communities be our local communities, so your home or your school, um, or in the place that you live, uh, perhaps even your kind of national communities or your global communities or religious communities. There's a wide range of people that um, you know get affected by these beliefs and these viewpoints and the experiences that are common to most of us are visited and investigated and our influences on um, our behavior and benefits to individuals and communities are also celebrated because we want to explore a range of backgrounds and also a range of uh, you know different cultures i uh, want to look at diversity we want to investigate different religions and also different themes and topics and kind of how they impact us or impact others in the world as well because we want uh, young people to study GCSE religious studies to become more empathetic to be open-minded and to be able to you know consider other experiences as well and it looks in detail at the beliefs, teachings and practices of Islam and Christianity. Now, the reason why we study um, this specification at Qum Deen is because we typically have um, a much bigger uh, Christian and Muslim community with our own school. So we want to make this course and this qualification relevant to them. Um, and we also then uh, apply those to a variety of topics. So what do religious communities teach about these topics and how do religious believers interpret holy texts in the context of the topics? And one of the big things that we look at are the religious attitudes to uh, different topics and different issues, different situations. And we also want to learn more about uh, the you know, Christian beliefs and teachings and the practices and also the um, Islam beliefs and teachers and the practices as well, so that people do get a broad and balanced and engaging curriculum through GCSE Religious Studies. And we also want to encourage students to question, explore, uh, investigate and you know make sure that they do thoroughly understand all of the content so you know we want people to be able to ask questions and challenge certain things and during discussions we want people to be able to you know add their opinion in, but in a respectful way so that is one of the you know core practices uh, and core things that we would do within religious studies whilst you know learning about and exploring all of these different topics so why do students choose to study GCSE religious studies well firstly the kind of students that we want to be undertaking this qualification should hopefully be enthusiastic, open-minded and passionate about learning more in the world that we live in, uh, different cultures, various religions and ways of life as well. Uh, they should also have an interest in learning more about Christianity and Islam and the in the various themes that we will teach and these are um, a lot more generic in terms of uh, you know the topics that they cover so we have relationships and families religion and life the existence of God and revelation crime and punishment and peace war and conflict so to take an example the peace war and conflict uh, unit does very closely tie into you know the reasons behind war and how war uh, affects you know the lives of you know many people across the world and you know this would really improve the understanding of the young people particularly when in the news we have the war going on between Russia and Ukraine so this would help to improve that understanding and you know hopefully make them more empathetic towards the you know the conflict and the situation that is happening in Ukraine they should also be willing to learn a bit more about the religions that we teach from our specification which are Christianity and Islam and the reasons that we teach Christianity and Islam are because in our school Kumdeen we do have a wider Christian and Muslim community so we wanted to make the you know, GCSE religious studies course more relevant to those students and hopefully to the people around them to maybe help them to understand a bit more about those religions and you know the beliefs and teachings that underpin you know the daily lives of the, the followers of those religions and also to you know make them more tolerant and empathetic and understanding and considerate as well in regards to those religions and people who follow them 
and students who take GCSE religious studies often aspire to further their knowledge at a post-16 level by studying a religious studies qualification um, and beyond that at a university level as well. So what careers are possible with a GCSE or even an A level in religious studies? So firstly, you will have the obvious jobs uh, related to religion, which you know may stand out to you as being kind of the you know the really plain and obvious ones. However, what you might not be aware of is the fact that there are a wide range of other careers possible with a qualification in religious studies. So, firstly, uh, for the religion-related jobs, you have a pastor, a minister, a military chaplain, and a military chaplain. In case you don't know, is somebody who works with the military or people within the military, um, typically on the sites or bases that they are on to provide uh, support, counselling, and um, one-to-one sessions for either you know, those people who are working within the military or possibly um, at home as well for the families of those to support them as well. Uh, and a ministerial youth worker. Now, in terms of other jobs that you could do with a qualification in religious studies, you have a cultural administrator, a community outreach coordinator, an RS teacher, a university professor, a counsellor, a childcare worker, a diplomat, and a diplomat would be somebody who um, tries to communicate and negotiate between um, two groups or two countries when there's any kind of conflict to come to a peaceful resolution. So um, that is, you know, with everything that's going on at the moment uh, with Ukraine and Russia, that is a job uh, where we would need the best people possible to make sure that they can come to the best possible outcome. Uh, you could also be a journalist, a political scientist, an international aid worker, a lawyer, and a paralegal. So you can see there are a wide range of jobs that you can do and also many more as well that are not on your screen. So there are many different avenues in which you could go down with a qualification in religious studies. So it's a very, very valuable um, program or course for you to look into doing at GCSE because uh, it can benefit you in a wide range of circumstances. So please do consider taking it up. So what's the career prospects after studying GCSE religious studies and you know even beyond that post 16 and university. So on your screen uh, you have the careers that we went through on the previous slide and their average salaries and as you're looking through these average salaries you well hopefully should be able to see that there is a wide range of salaries uh, between the different roles and that'll be because of a number of factors, for example, the amount of hours you may work, the responsibilities that you'd have within that job, and kind of the conditions of your job. So for example, uh, a university professor would you know, be working in quite a high pressure position, being responsible for teaching people at a university level and helping them to get their degrees. Um, whereas a journalist, for example, would be on a lower salary because you know they might not have the same stresses or responsibilities as part of their job. And these are all just average figures based on the UK. You know, these are not set in stone and there could be even more uh, careers in the future that, you know, we don't even know about to this day. And that's one thing that we have to be aware of in today's society is the fact that there are jobs in the future that haven't even been invented yet, that do not exist yet. So we're trying to prepare you for those potential careers that we don't even know about and uh, you know religious studies as a GCSE is a fantastic subject to do in that regard because it can prepare you for a wide range of careers and um, you know potential future aspirations as you can see through the careers that we've gone through there's a wide range and a variety of different careers that you could possibly do and potentially even ones that uh, you know, don't even exist yet. So lots to think about perhaps. So what topics do we study at GCSE Religious Studies? Now we follow the AQA specification at GCSE. Uh, to be more specific, we follow the AQA A specification because there's an A and a B spec. Uh, and for this, there are two exam papers and you will study the following topics that are broken up into the two papers you can see on your screen. So paper one is beliefs, teachings and practices of Christianity and Islam. And paper two is the thematic studies or the themes and you can see that you study those themes there that I previously mentioned. So relationships and families, religion and life, the existence of God and revelation, crime and punishment and war, peace and conflict. So there's a wide range of topics on there and they are broken up into those two papers. 
So to give you a bit more of a specific overview in terms of each paper, paper one for Christianity and Islam. So the content overview, as I previously mentioned, is the beliefs and teachings of each religion, which is one section of the paper, and then the practices of each religion, which is a second section of the paper. So there will be separate questions for each of those there. And the assessment overview, the paper for Christianity and Islam is one hour, 45 minutes, and this will be weighted 50% of your total GCSE. And the total marks available for this paper is 100, and it's 50 for Christianity and 50 marks for Islam. So, you know, it's a combination of those two together that would give you your overall grade for that paper. So, for paper two, there are the five themes that you are taught, as I previously mentioned. But when it comes to your exam, you will only actually have to answer questions from four of them. So on the front of your paper two, it will say answer questions from four themes only. So you will get to choose which four themes you would like to answer questions on, whichever you feel you are most confident in and, mo and the strongest in. And the overview of this, it is the same time as the paper one, an hour and 45 minutes, and it has weighted the other 50% of your total GCSE. There are 108 marks available in this paper with 96 total marks from the questions. However, there are 12 marks also available for spelling, punctuation, and grammar. And that's broken down into three marks per 12 mark question in uh, each theme that you choose to answer. So in terms of the actual breakdown of the exams and the questions within those, they follow um, a very similar kind of structure uh, throughout paper one and paper two, which is really beneficial for us because you get used to it really quickly. So that is a one mark multiple choice question, a two mark question, a four mark question, a five mark question, and finally a 12 mark question. And you will be taught how to answer all of those questions to the best of your ability to hopefully maximize all of those marks that are available to you. So some frequently asked questions to go through now. Firstly, what support do we offer for GCSE Religious Studies? Firstly, uh, you will be with highly motivated and knowledgeable teachers uh, who love their subject and are passionate about what we do. We'll be able to offer one-to-one -one support and catch-up sessions after school if necessary and revision sessions as well. Um, there will be also some online resources and learning to support studies as well through class charts and other um, you know, resources that we have available to us. There is a supporting revision guide which you can find um, you know, quite widely online. Uh, it's the AQA A specification GCSE Religious Studies with other readily available resources uh, from the school, which we will also offer up to students and make available on platforms such as class charts. And finally, we offer, offer regular feedback and marking, um, you know, as just part of our standard practice, which will benefit the students in order to help them to make as much progress as possible. Secondly, what are the course requirements? And firstly, um, to study GCSE Religious Studies at QMD, and we're looking for students that are open-minded, empathetic and enthusiastic. So you must be willing to learn about various religions and cultural topics and a range of different themes. You do not need to be religious or be from a religious background to study GCSE RS. It is more about you gaining a broad understanding of the local, national and global issues and topics and the impact that they have on our own or other people's community. So there is not necessarily any specific requirements as long as you uh, kind of apply to those points that I've made on there in terms of being open minded and enthusiastic to learn more about the world that we live in, because we'll be covering a wide range of topics that you know, will cover that and hopefully broaden your, your knowledge and your experiences and understanding as well. And finally, if you have any further questions or would like any more information regarding this course, please do not hesitate to contact myself, Mr. Temi, at atemi at cumdean.co.uk, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you with any queries, questions, or any further information you would like about GCSE Religious Studies. And I do genuinely believe that this is an extremely valuable subject and one that is worthwhile for you to consider taking in year 10 and year 11, because it can really place you in the best possible position for your further education, post 16, uh, your degree at university potentially, and also for the future in whichever role or career or job that you may have, because it can you know, improve 
your ability to be a contributing citizen to society and also make you a more tolerant and understanding and empathetic person, which is just really positive qualities that we want to inspire and encourage within our students at Coon Dean. So thank you, Year 9, for taking the time to watch and listen to this presentation about GCSE Relig Religious Studies. I hope you found it informative. And uh, like I said, if you have any further questions, then please uh, get in contact with me at my email or in, in and around school. If you see me, I'm more than happy to stop and talk to you about it. Thank you very much and take care.